Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Terraria Expert Mode series. As always, I'm Santois, um, and let's just uh, hop right into things. So at the end of that last episode, you know, we had gotten this uh, little base set up here. Um, and we had tried to explore the uh, snow biome underground a little bit more, but unfortunately uh, we had gotten attacked by some bats, which definitely caused a few problems. Um, but I'm thinking I'm going to head back over that direction and try and go past the snow biome this time, um, because I'd like to look for some more uh, chests in the overworld, and we can also see if we can find anything else. Um, I'm also gathering hay as I go um, using the scythe. It, uh, it's auto swing and it picks up hay when you destroy grass, so it's pretty useful. And it's a lot better weapon than what we had before, or the sickle. It's got nine damage, so we'll do quite a bit more damage to uh, slimes and stuff as well. This blizzard is uh, making things a little bit more difficult because uh, visibility is really low, but luckily it's not too bad, so we should be able to get through here without too much trouble. Gotta be careful. All right, there we go. So we made it past the snow biome going down to this little cave system i found uh let me get a few more actual torches while i'm here just because it's really dark in this uh cave and i'm probably gonna need more at some point anyways oh that's really good that we get some topaz because this means we may have enough for a uh grappling hook one of the topaz hooks if we get lucky I kept some of it back at the base, but we should have a good amount um, when I get back up there. So I'll check and then see if we have enough to get the uh, grappling hook, which would make things a lot easier. I found this like vertical drop. Like, look at this. It almost looks like a, a corruption chasm, but like not straight down. is a bit odd. Um, usually don't see stuff like that. Also looks like uh, a desert has formed under here. Alright, it is getting kind of close to nighttime, so I should probably think about heading back soon, but um, we've made it really far and I'd like to just kind of keep reversing across the, uh, the overworld. I really do want some more gear and I like we just have not gotten much at all, which is a bit of a problem because uh, we're going to need just better stuff. I'm hoping that as we keep exploring, we can eventually find a chest with uh, an item that will actually do something in it. There we go. So here's a chest. We've got the radar. Um, we can equip that. It's not going to do all too much for us, but it's something. We do have to take care of this zombie here. Get these uh, raincoat ones, because I think they're a little bit stronger than the normal ones more inconvenience this path goes really really far down i mean look on my map well i guess it's not that far but has a such a defined path it's kind of surprisingly uh deep that's definitely is that one of the trapped ones i feel like it's got to be i see a boulder up there which makes me wonder if that's a trapped chest but let's dig around kind of nearby see if we uh and, you know, dig up the explosives that might be nearby. Because getting blown up would not help in this uh, playthrough at all. I don't see any explosives, so maybe it is... Maybe it is safe. Okay, we'll just... Yeah, okay, so it's fine. Just take that. I think we got a pretty good item out of that there. Obviously, we got the chest, and we also got the demonic mace which is really strong, 20 damage. Um, we'll keep these all kind of in the same area though, because it's the, one of those new mace weapons, a lot stronger than anything we have before. Um, that's really, really awesome to get out of that chest there. We're finally getting some stuff, which is great. While we're here, we can just explore a little bit more. Oop. Sometimes I gotta be a little bit more careful, it seems, but we got lucky that didn't hit us. Some more tungsten here, and there we go. Another crystal heart. We can get a little bit more life to uh, survive a little longer, which will be good. Oh, look, it's a fairy. So I guess we should follow this little guy 
Oh, up to that chest right there. Awesome. How useful. Alright, cool. So we can go get that. Take off that iron. Or, this lead. I keep always forget. What we got? Cloud in the bottle. That is really, really good. I always look for items like that in my playthroughs. And that is going to make things way easier for us in the long run. Because now we can double jump. So we have a lot more vertical movement. Um, just... It's one of the, the best early game items, in my opinion. I think we can upgrade it, too. So I'm always a big fan of getting that item. We are... We could be really strong um, pretty soon, I think, because we should have enough for a grappling hook. And then with the mace and all that, a really good spot. I wonder if we could... I have to get the materials for it, but there's a good chance we could fight the Eye of Cthulhu pretty soon, I think. What is damaging all the slimes down here? Um, oh, is it the skeleton merchant? Let's see what he's got to say. Uh oh, and then I died. Oops, okay. Uh, I guess he was standing right on the button for that dart trap. That's unfortunate. I guess we'll have to go back down and uh, get our gold and such, but that shouldn't be too bad. Alright, so we're back where I lost all my stuff last time. I'm gonna make sure to clear out the dart trap before I uh, collect my items. There we go, so we got all our gold back, which is good. Like, if there's anything particularly valuable down there, I see a bat, which I don't, I don't love that. But there's also a life crystal over there. Great. We can almost get to... Uh, 200 life, I think. We're at 140, so we can get to 160. So we'll only need two more crystals to be at 200 life, which is really strong. Get that real quick. I'm gonna move the scythe to the slot. Trying to use it. I think that's another life crystal. Yep, there we go. Awesome. We are... We have 200 life now. Well, we will once I'm fully healed, but... That is really, really good. We are definitely in a good spot to uh, start fighting... Yeah, I can do and all that. I just need to make sure I can get like a demon eye or uh, or suspicious looking eye or fight demon eyes uh, at nighttime. But that will be a little bit for if we're able to do that. Have to get the items for that. It also may spawn randomly, I believe. Oh, and look at that down there. I think the gem tree. I don't know what type it is, but if it is a topaz one, we may be in business. Get some good stuff from this, that'd be awesome. It's amber, okay. So, not exactly what we needed, but still, extra gemstones is never a bad thing. That's topaz. Now we need one more. My goodness, does not want to give it to us today, does it? Here we go. We've actually found some gold now, which is really good. That's a lot better than anything we'd found before. And this stuff is, is useful in other ways as well. So we're finally starting to uh, get some more of the rare materials, which is great, but I don't go in there, I gotta be really careful. I'd seen something over here that I wanted to get as well, but I, yeah, I wanted to get that tungsten, but I also don't want to get crushed by, I'm assuming a boulder is on that uh, pressure plate. There we go, so now we have 15 topaz, I think. Yes, 15. Um, we need an anvil to actually check if that's enough, but I think it is. So, once we head back, we should be able to get a grappling hook, which is really good. I'm very excited for that. Um, still not finding much else down here, but this cavern is really, really large, um, which is great because we've been able to get a lot of good stuff. Oh man, that was that was a close one. That boulder. Oh, that's a huge gold deposit. I think this may be one of the ones that has the explosive on it. No, it's just a big, big gold deposit. Wow. Alright. So this is great to uh, get. I'm gonna be a little bit careful though. I don't want the water to flood out. Actually, I can just flood this into the cave below. That way I don't have to worry about it. I think that's what I'll do. 
Yeah, we can get all this gold and maybe even get some uh, better armor weapons, just you know, depending on uh, how much we're able to get from this. I definitely want to uh, upgrade to better pickaxe at some point. I don't know if I'm just going to wait until the like uh, corruption pickaxe, but it also might be good to just get gold or something along those lines. Uh, to make mining a little bit easier while we, you know, approach that kind of level. Really don't want to fall into the uh, cave down there because I can hear a lot of enemies. So that was awesome. We just got, uh, where is it? 99 gold ore from that uh, big vein. So we just got pretty lucky with uh, our resources there. I also had seen, there it is, I'd seen a chest while I was running away. And now we don't take any fall damage, so that is awesome. We are in really, really good shape now. No fall damage, double jump, and then I think we'll get a grappling hook when we get back. We can basically move vertically like as much as we want. Um, if we can find a gravitation potion, we can start looking for sky islands uh, really easily because... They, uh, we, we can just kind of float up and down without worrying about crashing into them or falling to the earth. So that will be really good. I'm just going to find that though, obviously. Isn't super convenient, but it's a lot better than not having it. So good stuff. We can also just kind of jump over stuff with more uh, leeway now. Also really nice. Now, I, I definitely, if we find a, a, a sky island, it'll be great because we can eventually combine the horseshoe, the cloud in the bottle, and the, whatchamacallit, the red balloon that you can buy on sky islands into the cloud in a balloon, like the horseshoe balloon or whatever it is. So we have one item instead of three that does the things of each one's. How do I do this again? Oh, I can smash it like that. I forgot. Now we got some emeralds, which is cool. Um, let's see. Get rid of some of our inventory here. It is getting kind of full. We've done a good amount of exploring uh, in the underground. I think it may be time to just kind of head back and collect ourselves. We also need to look for some lenses from Demon Eyes. Um, because... We're going to need the uh, Suspicious Looking Eye to summon the Eye of Cthulhu. Let's see, can we get a grappling hook? Yes, we can. We can get the Topaz hook. There we go. Let's equip that. Now, we have access to grappling, which is really fun. So we can kind of just swoop around like that. And we can do it pretty much without worrying about any damage because of the horseshoe. Just makes it a lot easier to just get anywhere. It's going to be really useful for a boss fight where we can kind of hook onto a platform and move away. So that's that's really strong. Let's also just, you know, smelt all the ore we got into bars. Now we have quite a lot. I'm going to put all my gemstones in here as well just because I think that'll be a good chest. We'll have this be our, like, valuable items chest, I think. Let's see if we can craft some actual armor now. So we can use this, actually to fight King Slime if we had more gel. Since I don't have that much gel, I'm not going to do that right away. We get a gold bow, which might be really strong for Cthulhu. But I think the move right now is the gold pickaxe, because that can mine meteorite. And it's also way faster than the copper pickaxe, so I feel like that's kind of a no-brainer there. Uh, we also have 30 tungsten, so we could start upgrading our armor. Uh, current most need of upgrade is the uh, leg piece, so we'll get the tungsten greaves. Swap those out. Looks like we can also get a helmet upgrade. I'll do that too. Now we're in much better shape in armor. Uh, pretty good shape everywhere else as well. May go for the gold bow, just so we have um, some sort of ranged option. Because right now we don't really have that. But now we can uh, attack from a bit more of a range. We do have the mace, which kind of does that, but having both, I think, is the uh, best move there. So I'm trying to explore a little bit to this side of the map. 
see if we can't find something else while we're over here. Might be might be very useful if we could just get some other items. Actually, I'm gonna try and get a wooden hammer as well. Just because if we hit the corruption, we can smash uh, one or two of the shadow orbs and maybe get a musket or a better mace. And then we would be really set. Uh, that'd be kind of getting ahead a little bit, but it's expert mode, so why not, right? And lo and behold, there we go. There is the corruption right here. Gonna clear that out a little bit. Okay, so these guys do a lot of damage, but we're actually in pretty good shape defensively. Gotta be a little bit careful with my uh, movement there. But as long as we're uh, being safe, we should be alright. We don't take fall damage, so that's how this that's how that works. Um, so that's really fun. But there is a little um, shadow orb in this one, which is nice. I'm just gonna walk off uh, the roof here, just so we don't have any uh, eaters of souls bothering us while I am blowing these things up. Now I can just take one of these bombs that we've got, basically just bomb our way down to uh, that shadow orb. So pretty straightforward. Uh, but this should hopefully let us get um, some good items. There we go. We've got a musket now, which is a pretty solid ranged weapon. Um, nothing incredible, but since I did say I may want to play ranger for this playthrough, really good to have. It does 31 damage a shot too, so we can start getting the uh, weapon, uh, the gunsmith. And because we have the bombs, we can do the uh, demolitionist. I'd probably like to find one more data orb while I'm down here. Just because that will give us a little bit more of a boost. I don't think that's going to happen. It looks like we're going to have to go all the way back up because this was a very deep uh, tunnel there. Let's just make our way back up. A little bit of a slow process, but that's okay. That was a little bit more damage than I wanted to take, but we should be all right. I just need to be a little bit more careful that my taking uh, damage there. There are a lot of them chilling in that little uh, area right there, but I'm going to just run away from you. And I don't see anything. We'll fall back down this pit, see if we can't get another shadow orb. I think this one right here is the one we should go for right now. I don't want to break any more than that, because then we will have to fight a boss. And we're not quite ready for this one, I don't think. Um, we got lucky, maybe, but don't want to risk it right now. I've underestimated the uh, Eater of Worlds many times in Expert Mode, and it's never gone really well. Usually uh, kind of kicks my butt. We could increase our mana as well from that mana star, but I don't think that's the move. Okay, that's great. We've got uh, 200 musket balls about. We have another musket, which we can... We're just going to sell that. And we know where the corruption is now, so that's really useful. Um, we can... Come back here when we're ready and fight the Eater of Worlds. But for now, we're going back to our spawn. Just uh, putting our stuff away. And also, let's see if we can't build another house or two. That way we can start getting the weaponsmith, or the gunsmith and the, what's his name? The uh, demolitionist. Some more uh, some items for them. Um, and the good thing, too, is that because we have broken the Shadow Orbs, Meteorite will be able to spawn. Um, and that'll be really good because we can get uh, that armor there and use that in the future as well. So the Demolitionist is going to want to go in the Underground, but the uh, uh, the Gunsmith, he'll probably want to be in the Desert. So we'll probably build the houses over there. But actually, you know, while I'm here... I might as well set up the arena, just because we've got a lot of space here. Um, I think it's going to go right there. Let me plant some of these acorns first. We're going to need a lot of uh, wooden platforms to make the arena. Yeah, I'll probably set up the arena um, off camera, because this episode is getting a little bit long. Um, 
I'll probably do that just in between episodes because that's not super interesting, but I'll show you guys when I finish it. Uh, but for the end of this episode, we might as well see if we can get a little bit more better armor or tools uh, before we finish things up here. That way uh, it's not dragging on too much and we can just kind of uh, enjoy what we got. We can get silver bullets for a musket because um, we don't have silver in our world. I think it's worth it to just grab a little bit of that because we're not going to get, really get more and we might as well just take that upgrade. Um, I'll also get a lead axe because it'll replace our copper one. It'll be a little bit more um, useful, make it easier for getting wood for this arena that I'm going to have to build. And I want to see if there's anything else I can get here. Make more tungsten. Doesn't do too much for me though. We could upgrade our mana using the Fallen Stars, but I, we don't really need to because I don't think I'm going to play a mage. We don't really want to do that, especially if we try and make the uh, Star Cannon or something like that in the future. I'm going to want having a lot of Fallen Stars. We do a lot of damage with the musket, so that is definitely going to be really good for the Eye of Cthulhu. Um, and this space here is definitely where we'll set up our arena. I'm really excited for the next episode because I'd like to fight the Eye of Cthulhu if we can. So that is my plan there, I think. All right, so the last thing I was able to do here is I got our, a little piggy bank from the merchant. I I place, oh, I have to place it on that. This will uh, act as like a, a chest that only we can open, but it's also um, once we get, if we get the money trough, which is the, it's like a rare drop item, we can make this portable. So this is a great uh, item. They also share items between them. So if we set up multiple different houses and put a piggy bank in each one, um, we'll be able to access all our stuff there. So that's really useful. Great that we got that uh, from the merchant. But I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Um, we made some really good progress in our gear. We've got way more defense. We're now at 11 defense, which is awesome. We've got um, it's really we got two really good um, accessories here. Uh, very excited about those. And we've got some great weapons, so I'm super excited. As always, thank you so much for checking out the video today. I really appreciate y'all's support, and I have fun making these videos, and I hope you guys enjoy watching them. I'm Santois. Uh, thank you again for, for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next week.